He's watching you this morning. Mom, it's not recording. Has it? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, good morning, world. Hope your fantastic morning is bright and beautiful day. Yes, indeed. What a perfect day it is, Mo. It's the kind of day where nothing could really go wrong. Yep, a great day to be a news presenter. Everything seems pretty much perfect. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry to interrupt you, Moise. It seems we're getting some breaking news. There's, there's something very odd and troubling. It's a missing person problem. Has anybody seen Cinderella? She's not on the there, are you? Anyways, let's go to Nyan Jensen. Nyan Jensen, what do we know? Very spooky is happening. Cinderella has just disappeared. It was as if she has melted into thin air. This seems very suspicious. Everyone is a suspect, even you. I didn't do anything. I was chilling out with Humpty Dumpty. Well, we need to learn more. Let's see what's going on. Emergency reach service. This is the police. If you require any emergency service, please press 55 on your keypad now. 911, what seems to be your emergency? Hi, this is for a godmother. Cinderella is missing. I would like to file a missing person report. <laughs> Not another one is late night, Lulu's. Okay, lady, calm down. How long has this Cinderella been missing for? Well, she was supposed to return home from the Prince Charming's ball at the stroke of midnight, but she never arrived. What time is it now? 12.30 a.m. So you're telling me that she's half an hour late from the Prince's ball at the castle and you're already filling in a missing person report? Give me a break, lady. No, you don't understand. She was supposed to return home or else her gown would turn into rags and her carriage will turn into a pumpkin full going mice. Seriously lady, maybe you should get some more sleep. This is the emergency hotline. Call back in 24 hours if she hasn't arrived yet. A mice pulled pump by pumpkin. What a loon. No, can you please just send over a unit to the princess castle and see what they can find out. Okay, I'll see who's available at this hour of night. Now go back to the castle and wait for a detective to come. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Bibbity bobbity boo. A glass shoe I'll make for you. Thanks, but no thanks. A glass shoe? What a useless idea. Now go back to the castle and wait for the detective like I told you. Seriously? A glass shoe? people whose party is this yeah whose party is this this is the prince charming's annual ball everyone in the kingdom knows that tonight the prince is trying to find a wife is this some kind of prank where's the camera am i on an episode of love island absolutely not this is the prince charming's ball heir to the kingdom of far far away he's way better than love island has he heard of tinder do not insult the prince he doesn't need an internet dating service when he could simply host the ball for all to attend. Thank you, Blake, but I'll take it from here. Who was the last person to have seen this Miss Cinderella? When I was detective. Really? Yes, we had been dancing all night when all of a sudden she ran off right at the stroke of midnight. What did you say that made her run off so quickly? Yeah, what did you say, Buster? Nothing. I simply said she is the most beautiful girl in the world and I wanted to marry her immediately. <laughs> How long have you known this Miss Cindy? I met her earlier to, uh, this evening at the buffet table. So you mean to tell me only a few hours ago you met her and you were already proposing marriage? Yes, don't you believe in love at first sight? No, a few more hours of familiarity could wait. Jeez, haven't you seen Frozen? Huh? You know Frozen? Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go! Anyway, I would never do anything to her. Please help me find her. Let me lock him up, boss. I swear I would never hurt her. I did find this glass shoe that fell off her foot. Maybe this could have- A glass shoe? How pointless is that? Why would anyone in their right mind put a glass shoe on their foot? Good point, actually. Prince Charming, stay right there. We may need you to answer some questions later. You may want to question Cinderella's stepsisters. She kept telling me how mean they were to her. She even said that they didn't want her to attend my annual ball. Her specific con was that they would kill her if she came to the ball. Find me a stepsister. Find him a stepsister. Name? 
Who wants to know? Me. Let us see your credentials first. The name's Florinda. Mine is Lucinda. Okay, Florinda and Lucinda, where were you when this Miss Cindy disappeared? I was over there by the punch bowl waiting for my chance to dance with the prince. Did, did Cindy and Prince Charming dancing make you jealous? Of course not. I already have a boyfriend. His name... His name is... Alberto, but he lives in a different kingdom. Well, I have a source that says you would kill her if she came to the ball. Your source is Prince Charming. I was standing right behind him when he said that to you. However, that is not what I said. What I said is, was, I would just die if Cindy came to the ball. Why would you say such a thing? Yeah, why would you say such a thing? Okay, so, she said it because, right, Cinderella is always, like, cleaning up the house. She's always, like, looking after us. She never does anything for herself. I mean, mm -hmm. it's kind of annoying, right? Yeah. I mean, she's always, like, uh, we always say, um, oh, leave, leave us, us alone. alone. Or, um... Go and have go some and fun. Go and have some fun. But she's always like, oh no, let me just finish sweeping up. Or, mm, I'll go to bed when I finish mending your dress. Or, I mean, you get, you the, get idea. the idea. So you have no idea why she would run off at midnight for no reason? No. no. Uh, maybe she had a souffle in the oven or something? Hey boss, look who I found howling in the wolf while she was grilling Florinda. Well, 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 it isn't the big bad wolf. Why does everyone keep calling me that? Are you big? No, not really. Kind of average size. Are you bad? No, not at all. Are you a wolf? Of course I'm a wolf. Ha! So admit it, you are the big bad wolf. <sighs> Anywho, where were you this evening around midnight? I was having dinner with Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah, right, and I'm LeBron James. Well, Detective James, that's exactly where I was. You expect me to believe that you, the big bad wolf, were having dinner with Little Red Riding Hood? Yes, I was, but I'm not big or bad. You certainly are you're not big or bad. I was having dinner with her. I swear, you see, her grandmother took the overnight bus to the casino, so we finally had the place to ourselves. I was planning on proposing to her. You were? You were? I was a wolfie. I was a wolfie. Let's see the ring. Oh yes, let's see the ring. A wolfie, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Woo, good for you. That still doesn't mean you can have eaten Granny on your way to a little dinner proposal with Little Red Riding Hood. I would never eat her. Yeah, right. It's true, detective, because Wolfie is a vegetarian. What? Vegan, actually. I have been ever since I googled how hot dogs are made. I do not believe in cruelty towards animals, humans included. Well then, why did I see you running away from Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother's house, howling like you were in pain? That's because a man came by the house, looked through the window. Whilst we were eating our porcini rubs tofu salad, the man had a big knife and blood all over his clothes and said he was going to give it to me. What did you do? What do you mean what I do? What would you do if a, big, if a strange man came to your house with a knife and blood all over his clothes? I would use my exclusive officer training, disarm him and pin him down. Well, I do not believe in violence, but I am a good screamer. So I ran out screaming, but the man kept chasing me, shouting, This is for Granny! This is for Granny! I had no idea what he was talking about, but he kept chasing me whilst brandishing the huge knife. Well, Wolfie sounds true. I followed after them. I was trying to tell this man that me and Wolfie were friends. Well, more than friends are actually. However, I couldn't keep up with them and lost them somewhere in the woods. And then I saw a figure. I thought it was the knife wielding man, but then I, I found, I, then I realized it was a young girl. Come to think of it, she did have blonde hair like Cinderella. She went into the house over there. I would have followed after her, but I was too worried about Wolfie. Eventually, he cornered me, and I thought I was a goner, but that's when I did what I do best. You ate him? No, I'm not a barbarian. I howled at the top of my lungs. <coughs> that must be when I found the wolf. I can confirm I did see a man run as I approached, and there he is, right there. Find the butcher.
one. I was on my way home from the butcher shop. I still have my apron on. Um, I always carry around my knife. You never know who you'll meet in the woods. Aww. Is that blood on your apron? <gasps> yes, I told you. I'm a butcher. Aww. This guy hugs up animals for a living and I'm the big bad one. Unbelievable. Do you always stick your head in other people's windows, you creep? Not at all. Granny sometimes leaves a pie for me waiting on the windowsill. That still doesn't explain why you chased Mr. Wolf shouting, This is for Granny! Yeah. This is for Granny! It is for Granny! I was delivering these fresh cut pork chops, which need to be refrigerated by the way. I attempted to run after the wolf, trying to give him the package. Well then, if your little pork chop delivery service is on the up and up, why did you take off in the other direction when you saw me? I have some unpaid traffic fines. I thought you were trying to collect. Oh. I would never hurt the wolf. I swear. I think he's lying. Yeah. Okay, yeah. butcher. In your attempt to elude the police, did you happen to see a young blonde woman enter that house over there? What, Miss Jammer? No, oh. Cindy. Oh, do you mean the bear's house? Oh. Yes, that house there. I did see a person enter that house, but I didn't get a good look at them. Oh. Oh. Come on, let's go see if Cindy's in there. Open up, it's the police! Yeah, open up! Or I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll... What is wrong with you? Too soon? Yes! Everyone, step back, I'm gonna kick the gate in. You forest animals really need to start locking your doors. Yeah. Not everyone is happily ever after, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyone can just walk right in here and help themselves. Oh, yeah. 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 Sensible, sensible. What are you all doing inside my house? We saw a young blonde woman enter your house. We have reason to believe she might be the person we are looking for. You mean Miss Gemma? No! Cindy! How did you even get in? Baby bear, did you forget to lock the door again? It's not my fault. Everyone was washing me. It's okay. You know how probably I get some Black Friday. Got to be first in line. Obviously, the big, the 60 inch flat screen TV we bought last year isn't big enough. I ain't gonna watch West Ham win the Champions League on that tiny screen. That's because West Ham aren't going to win the Champions League. I'm ready to win bubbles. Pretty bubbles in the air. Water bottle's too hot. That's because it was left in the sun all day. Ah, this water bottle's too cold. That's because it was in the free freezer just now. Here, take this one. Is this guy seriously a police officer? He's in training, actually. He's my wife's nephew. You're married? Yep. 15 wonderful years. Too bad. I'm not married. I kind of figured that. Put the bottle down. We have a missing person to find. Papa Bear, lead the way. Oh, this chair's way too hard. This chair's too soft. This chair is just right. Enough! This is the longest search of a house I have ever had to do. Let's check that room over there. Oh. Somebody's sleeping in my bed. Huh? 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 It's Cinderella! Who's Cinderella? You are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm Goldilocks. See the beautiful dreadlocks of gold. That's all great, but what, what the heck are you doing sleeping in Baby Bear's bed? It's a room off Airbnb. We didn't put a room on Airbnb, did we? No, we didn't. Did we? Don't look at me. Is your name Berenstein? No, Berenstein lives two houses over. My bad. Hey Wolfie, long time nice see you. How have you been? Move along, sister. He's not interested. Bad wolf. Well, it seems we're back to square one. Oh. Open up, Austin, and kick down your front door. Lion, I'm stuck trying to kick in everyone's front door. Who is it? It's the police. Open up. Are you here because of that awful bed? 
this it is, Miss March and I are baking cake for the dwarves. Working in the mine today really distraught without appetite. Do you know what it's like shunting you with seven dwarves? I could imagine, but what's with the candy rooster? You have no idea what it's like trying to find an affordable housing in this cave. Well, it looks like our trail has gone cold once again. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! Do you know the Muffin Man? The one who lives in Jerry Lane? Yeah, mm. that's the one. Yes, what? Next door is this beautiful young woman and her falling husband. I mean, come here, you beast. Can you smell? Oh, yes, come here, you vulgar. Now you think she sees in him. He's one of those broody guys. So I can let you talk. Oh! oh. And it's Sharon Salesman. Oh! oh. We're here to help you, don't have to put a beast like that. Beast? Beast? I wouldn't even put a flower. Like your story, pal. It's true. You, she's the kindest, most generous person I know. Then why was he yelling at you for so kind and generous? What you heard was Bill and I rehearsing a scene from Tennessee Williams, a street car named Zion. Mm. Do you really expect us to believe that? Yeah, you expect us to believe that? It's true, Detective. My friend has a very important callback at the Royal Conservatory Theatre tomorrow. I'm hoping to land the role of Stanley. Ooh, Stanley's a real beast. Oh yes, they do some lovely productions all at the Royal Conservatory. Just lovely. Okay, okay, enough of the theatre. We still have no sign of Cinderella and once again our trail has gone cold. In the future, I advise you to rehearse your scenes at a uh, more reasonable hour. But my friend is nocturnal. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yes, especially when your neighbour over there starts hammering around at four o'clock in the morning. What, what does he do that he has to start hammering at four in the morning? He's a toy maker and a few fries short from a happy meal. Oh, I get it. He's dieting. No, he's not playing with a full deck. Right, he's a magician. He's got a couple screws loose. Just like Baby Bear's chair. No. Why don't you just take a break? Sorry about him. He was born in the glue factory or something. Anyway, do you think the toy maker is capable of hiding a missing person? It wouldn't hurt to check him out. And if you could kindly remind him that quiet hours are in effect until 8 a.m., that would be great. On it to the toy maker's house! house. Toy maker's house! 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 Open up! It's the police! Good morning, officer. What seems to be your problem? <gasps> Look, Mama, it's a talking doll. Actually, I'm a real boy. Sure you are, buddy, and I'm Winnie the Pooh. No, actually, I am. You're kind of cute. You really think so? Yeah. Sorry, but I kind of have a girlfriend. Okay, okay, we're in a little bit of a break. Okay, okay, I did talk to a girl tonight. She's not your girlfriend, is she? I wish. However, she said she, she would like to be friends. Does that count? No. no. How did this girl look like? Well, she was about this tall with blue eyes. Was she wearing a glass shoe? One odd question to ask. Come to think of it, she was wearing a glass shoe. And then my dad gave her clogs and swears. You mean your father, the toy maker, talked with her as well? Yes, of course. Where is your father? I can't believe I'm having a conversation with a wooden doll. I claim to be a real boy someday. <laughs> sure you are, buddy, and I'm going to be an NBA All-Star. Anything can happen when you wish upon a star. Sure, kid, whatever. Where's your old man? Did you just call me a kid? It's just an expression. To you, it's just an expression. To me, it's everything. Thank you. are welcome. Now, where is he? He left with Cindy. You know her name's Cindy, and you're just telling us now? You never asked me her name, you asked me how she looked like. How do you know her name is Cindy? My father called her that, and then she started crying. 
And then my father went upstairs to get some clogs and sweaters for her. Which way did they go? Why don't you ask them yourself? I wish I could. See, wishes do come true. Here they come! Stay where you want, put your hands in the air! Let's get them! Yeah! yeah. But I haven't done anything! Let's take these to downtown! Yeah! But I haven't done anything! What did you do to Cinderella? She's dead! <gasps> Hold on! What I was about to say is she's dead tired! See for yourself! Cindy, are you awake? I am now. Who the heck are you? Florinda, what are you doing here? I've been searching for you all night. Do you really, really like me? Of course I do. What can I say? He does that with any life. Okay, fine. I was just finally hoping to get some alone time with Prince Charming. You were? I was. I've been wishing to dance for you since we were kids. Why have you never said anything? Oh, I thought you might say no, and, and then we wouldn't get to dance together. Oh, Lucinda. You mean Florinda? What did I say? Lucinda. Oh, Florinda, make my dream come true and be my life. <laughs> Boy, this guy moves fast. Now we got that out of the way, can we please get back to the investigation? First of all, why the heck did you use the ball so fast? I can answer that. I made it so that at the final stroke of midnight, the beautiful gown she was wearing would be turned back to rags and the carriage that brought her to the ball would be turned back into a measly little pumpkin. Why would you ever do that to a girl? I don't know. It's kind of my thing. It's strange. You're the one who's about to marry a wolf and I'm the strange one. You're both strange. However, that's not the reason I ran from the prince. Then why? Yeah, why? Not that I care, but why? I ran because he was a stupid spoil your brat. I wouldn't stop talking about himself. I don't really care what you own because nobody wants to know. Did you know he asked me to marry him and the only words I said to him were, Hi, my name is Cinderella, but most people call me Cindy. Talk about desperate. No offence, Florinda. Oh, none taken. So then what happened? Well, when Prince over here got down on one knee, I knew I had to make my escape, so I did the oldest trick in the book. He played dead. No, I said, look, a unicorn, and I'm pointing behind him. Where, where, where? When he turned to look, I ran out. the castle was on fire. I could have outrun him if not for these useless glass slippers. Do you know how hard it is to run in sweaty glass slippers? Okay, okay, I get it. The glass slippers are a bad idea. See what you get for trying to think outside the box. Luckily, the sweaty slippers slipped off my feet and I was able to get into the forest. I just kept running until I came upon this little toy shop where I heard the most beautiful singing. Give me my singing. Oh. oh gosh, no. As soon as I heard that passionate falsetto, I knew there was only one person who could sing like that. Dutch King. Who? Never mind. The voice I recognized was of my grandfather Geppetto. As soon as I saw her in my front door, I knew she was my long lost granddaughter Cinderella. I immediately started crying and fell into his arms. She was shivering, so I went into my room and got her a sweater and some clogs. She had one glass slipper. I mean, I mean, why would anyone have a glass slipper? Got it. Point made. Bad idea. Noted. When Grandpa went from went to his room, the wooden boy over there. Did you just call me a boy? Yes, a wooden boy. Close enough. Uh, social distancing. Oops. Sorry. Anyway, Gordon Nose over here kept asking if he could be friends. I told him Geppetto was my grandfather and that that kind of made him like my uncle. When Grandpa came from his room, we left. Right. He took me back to my childhood home, the home I lived in before my mother died, before my father married their mother. Poor child lost track of time and fell asleep on my cold concrete floor, so I gently scooped her up and put her in her favourite red wagon. <laughs> Well, it looks like another case has been solved. Yeah, well, it looks like another solved has been cased. How about you make me a real boy now? Not a chance. No. Oh, come on. Hey, everyone, there's still plenty of food at my castle. Our castle? There's, there's breakfast on us. Hooray! Hooray! I can bring the sausages. This 
studio. Oh, thanks, Jensen. 